what you think of the show so far? It is very Well, I think it's excellent. Yeah, I'm trying to see my mind to yeah, tell me how we got involved in this business. I think it's an excellent show. So, so far, how many things you have you learned from the show? Well, I think so much of the documentary. I don't know how you can you know, but I have no time. Okay. Excuse for the ladies. Um, so far, what, 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 what have you all seen that has caught your eye in terms of medicine? Okay, thank you. Dean? Jean John. Yeah. And you saying that you were treated by Mr. Chad Banner? Yes. Yeah. You're doing? What was wrong? Uh -huh. I'm right. Okay, tell the guy, tell the guy what, what your experience is. You're hearing him? Okay, tell him, tell him what, what your experience is. I went to the corporation. I didn't take the operation, right? So I went to Mr. Nana. He gave me some rubbing and medicine. So that, that's the only type of medicine that, huh? that's the only type of herbal medicine that you've used? Okay, thank you. That's fine. She used to work on local herbs, herbs for things like cancer, so it was a small med medicine like things, you know, plum, health. Is there just a funny thing like lizard that I didn't really appreciate? Just a fella. You should see him one day. You should see him one day. You should see him one day? Oh, that's a big claim. Yeah. But you're just never in here. Okay. He's, he's like a gardener. Yeah. 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 Yeah, what are the and Yeah, I I know a bit of that Okay. Alright. So what are you? Do you know any of those? You don't know any of these things? You don't you don't know this? Uh, well, I see them all. Are you still in the living or whatever? Maybe? Okay, let's see a chance of you can it in. You know what they plan itself. This is called TV. The tree plant, um, the tree plant, is that the, the only use for it is, is for making like baskets and stuff like that? Mainly handicap. Mainly handicap, yeah. it has no medicinal purpose. No, not that I know, I'm not that this is that is not medicinal purpose, right? Then this, 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 we said, because, if you call this piece, I think, okay, I don't know, I think this, I think that's This, this, this piece, yeah, they got all this, right? Yeah. And then it's prepared, right? Then they use this piece, right? And ask it. See? Pull it, pull it. See? Pull it, pull it. See? See, the cassava in this. And they call it cassava. Right? Put the cassava in this here. Like this here, hang it up in here. Okay? Right. Oh, so Buckets, yeah. Buckets. Show the cassava. And then, 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 and then
name change from Jonas to Dog. Is it very simple calling us? Husband. Okay. Husband. Mm -hmm. Wrong title. Poor, we call it poor. Okay. Uh, very serious one again. Well, you receive first. Okay. He would take all different pushes, all different books and bodies and give you a warm bath. Okay. Give you a sweat. Okay. And then give you a diesel of the Okay. And pull you up in a bag. Okay. And after 8, 10 hours, he take you out from there and you're so wet. Which is a bag? What kind of bag are you talking about? This feed bag, not the feed bag, but the two bag, the rough okay. rice bag. The rough rice bag? That's from long ago? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're sweating. So you sweating for how long? About eight hours. Eight hours. Okay. And when you finish sweating, what happens? White blood cream, change your garments. Okay. And then what? And then we clean the drops. So how long that treatment will last? He, he gave her treatment for about two, three days. Two, three days. Under restriction. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't use, don't get wet. Okay. Because if you get what we call, uh, we call it, no more repeater. Uh -huh. Which means a relax, a relax. A relax, okay. It would be worse than just catching the cold. Okay, so you get better and then you'd, you'd, you'd go back into the old condition. Yes. But worse. Worse. Okay. So he used the Zerapic to give you that sweat? Yes. The Zerapic with the clothes or by itself? Zerapic plus anointing. Okay, so what did he use to anoint you? He used to take the, the shadow belly. Uh -huh. Only pop up the room. Uh -huh. The shadow belly. Kojuru, uh -huh. Kojuru, uh -huh. and oil, uh -huh. pound it, uh -huh. and get the continuum, uh -huh. really good, and soft candle, uh -huh. and make a mixture, big face. Okay, so you get in the clothes, the soft candle, the continuum, the, the, the Kojuru root itself, yes. and the shadow any roots, yes. but it's grinding the roots? Yes. Grind everything. So you found the gully roots, koja roots, right? Yes. You found the shadow bunny roots. Yeah. And you grind that all together with the soft candle yes. and the clothes. Yes. Make a paste. Yeah. I want to do that paste now. Yeah, now you do that paste? No, all over the body? Yeah, right from head to right from head to foot. Yeah. Okay. And you sweat it for eight hours. And then you dry you up. Yeah. And how soon after will you sweat you again? You will sweat you again. So you give you one sweat? Yeah. And that's that? Yeah, that's right. Oh. I thought you said that you sweat it twice. No. Okay. So just one sweat. So one, one eight hour sweat. Yes. Any special reason for eight hours? That was his experience. Okay, so in his experience, eight hours was the, the sufficient time, average time for treating someone with a therapy. Now, is there any other way that he prepared the therapy? Any other way it was prepared as a medicine? You have it, you have it secure all in white. Uh -huh. As a result, mm -hmm. keeps it in a container or in bottles, mm -hmm. jars as the case may mm -hmm. be. Soak it okay. in the bottle with the container okay. and the clothes. Okay, so you're soaking that so when, when any of any occasion arrives mm -hmm. of its side, mm -hmm. it gets it handy. Okay. Now well, let's say you have a rum button. Right? How much clothes are you gonna put in that rum button? One doesn't, one doesn't do it at all, okay? You're gonna pass the close same place. Just, just pass the close same place. Okay, so, so you're saying one doesn't close? How many leaves of these uh, people do you use? And what size of the leaves? Well, of course, of course, the, the younger type of big trees. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can see this is from a full grown tree. Yes. Yeah. So you're taking the mature leaf? The, 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 the full grown leaf. A full grown leaf to get those leaves. This is from a younger tree. Okay, a full grown leaf. From a young tree? Yeah, it will be about, about the size. Eight, eight, six, eight inches. Okay, so. that's about the size. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. So you don't know how many leaves of that? Now. About a dozen one dozen leaves, leaves yes. of these have a big. One dozen grains of the clove. Yes. Right? And what else? You said in that? What else? Punch and rum. So you put a pure punch and rum. Yes. Put the rum butter. Yes. Eat not. Huh? Eat not the punch and rum. You get the zoni crackers. Zoni crackers, okay. okay. I have a bottle of steak, look at this. Okay, so you put it in the pack of it. Close, this is a peak. Right. And you're soaking all these things. Now, are you burying it? Was it in the ground or? You're not burying it? Okay, so you're just leaving this to soak in the sun or? No special treatment. Okay. Now, 
after that is prepared, how soon after, after let's say today you begin to put these things to soak, how soon after can you actually begin to use them? Well, around six, seven days. Six to seven days. After it's soaked. Soak. After it's, it's probably soaked. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now what do you say that you can do with that medicine? If you have a bad cold, or curse, as you say, how much of that medicine you're going to use? For my experience, for years. Mm -hmm. Okay, talking about small shot glass, right? So that is very short glass. Okay. I will bring one third so we can yeah. clarify that. Okay, so you take one wine glass. One third of that. Okay. okay. See so if you can get a shot glass in your jelly. Okay, so this is this is the not a fried memo. This is what we're using in the soaking is uh, in this mixture. Okay. Alright, we'll get a shot glass in a while to make sure we get the right size in the glass. Now, so that's an adult. An adult is taking one wine glass. Yes. How often? No. Well, they will take that when it's according to mm -hmm. your element. You may take that for a week. Okay, so this is, is this the size you're talking about? Yes, that's okay. So you're taking half of this? No. That, that full? Yes. Okay, so you're taking one shot glass full. Once yes. per day? Yes. What time? Yes, once. Morning, evening, any special time of the day? Well, I generally use that at bedtime. At bedtime? Yes. Before, just before bedtime? Yes. Okay. Now, so you drink this one shot glass before bedtime. Yes. And what happens? Well, you sleep as if you go away. So you sleep very, very, very well. Okay. So, apart from pleurisy, what, what would you use this, this medicine for? This healthy for the vermouth? What would you do with it? Or no, that, that mixture. The, the thing. Yeah, the mixture with it's, it's, it's just for that. For pure seed. For pure seed. Not asthma. Cold. Oh. Well, I've never tried it. For oh, asthma as well. Okay. Okay, that's not. Does it make you feel spy? Does it make you sweat? Yes. It makes you sweat a lot, right? Yes. yes. Even when you use it with. Even. Appetizing. Okay, increases your appetite. Yes. Okay. Now, if you take it without doing the anointing, you'll get the same level of sweating? Yes. Okay. So what is the purpose of the anointing? Well, uh, apparently, mm -hmm. I'm almost certain mm -hmm. that is to assist, mm -hmm. assist the pores mm -hmm. to open. Okay, so it opens the pores. That's how they perspiration. Okay, so, okay, so it increases the perspiration. So I guess all the toxins on the body pass, will pass out in the perspiration. Okay. Now, can you tell us where you would find this plant growing? You, you live in Rancho Camargo. Yes. You have grown up, you have worked in the oil field for many years. Yes. Can you tell us more as to where you would find this plant growing, especially in South Trinidad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice question. This, this plant is a very uncommon plant. Wherever the soil is very poor. It grows in poor soils? No. Or it does If the soil is poor. If the soil is poor, you would, you would hardly it. find it. Okay. You get this, this plant grow very much where you put down virgin soil like I would not. Plow, let's mm -hmm. say, as you mentioned a while back, a back the pot for plantation, mm -hmm. you plow, mm -hmm. and the, the, the seed meet that soil, mm -hmm. it would get that impression. Okay. For instance, like where the company plow to, to their location. Mm -hmm. Meaning, the, the, where they're drilling a well? Where they're well, fresh okay. well, mm -hmm. then they gave you this. In the? In the computer the land, on computer the location, uh -huh. you get plenty of this. Okay. Rich version. Okay. Now my understanding, my experience from this plant is that in the northern range, up in Blanchard Road, Ladaha, all these areas, this plant that grow to six, seven, eight, nine feet within yes. a few months. Yes. You have that same experience? Yes. Okay. Anything else on, on the location and where you kind of growing? Well, naturally speaking, if it affects a certain thing, regardless of soil, mm -hmm. it, 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 it sees mm -hmm. growing. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So as the other plants grow up around it, you're yes. saying that this doesn't grow much further. So, but if you cut less, let's say you cut less around this plant, and you maintain like a crop, would it would it keep on growing? Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Now you said you, you use the old, sorry, the, yeah, the mature leaves of the young plant in making the medicine. Yes. What about these young these these leaves when the plant are flowering? Do you use these leaves? Every part in this is good. Okay. 
what you, another thing is then you have to make very sure uh -huh. that it measuring out your dosage mm -hmm. it is properly straight. Mm -hmm. Okay. If it has the flowers, you mean? It's anything. Oh, okay. If it is properly straight because these leaves have certain fibrous points, mm -hmm. hairy points, mm -hmm. and that will go in your dosage. Uh -huh. Wrong in, it's wrong in what way? Damage inside? inside? Like what? As we expect. Okay, so if you take the fresh leaves and you customize everything and you put it in medicine, would it be any use? You start the strain. Okay. Alright. So you're saying you can use the entire plant in medicine. Yes. You don't have you don't necessarily have to use the, the, the young leaves. The mature leaves of the Okay. But that was just the way your father made it. He used it You can take it from the tree. Okay, the stem itself. The stem. Okay, even the, you know, when it's growing, the inside gets woody. Yes. Well, sorry, the outside gets woody and the inside gets, remains soft and white. You can use all of that in the medicine. You can take it and put it stand up, put it on, put, put it on, put it on, put it Now you know, long ago people believed a lot about the moon, cutting things in different moon and planting things in different moon. In, when one is using silver peak, is there any particular time when you think it's best to be harvested? Like, you know, like is it best harvested in the full moon or dark night or? Right up front, I think the best time to have the end with silver peak is when you get it. Whenever you get it, you take it. Yes. Okay. Alright. So it doesn't matter what the moon is. Okay. Because you're not planting it. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're saying this the whole concept of harvesting things according to the moon relates to agricultural crops? Yes. Harvesting? Yes. Harvesting, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay, so what about bamboo and mamu and material for handicraft? I mean, if you harvest these things in certain moons, moon phases, inside, they get insect damage? Yes. And from my experience, let's say you harvest my chapel in certain moons, moon phases. You find that insect, they get insect damage? Yes, I experienced that. Myself. Okay, so you're saying that the effectiveness is one thing. The, the durability, how long will it last? It may be affected by the moon. Yes. But not necessarily how well it will work. It won't necessarily how long it will work. But it will last very long. Okay. Okay. Right, so is there any special time when you think, let's say, let's say you have a so vegan full moon. Would it last longer? Let's say you just dry the leaves and keep everything in the house. Would it last longer than if you harvested it in the last quarter and kept it dry in your home? Would it last longer from one moon to the next? It would last longer with the last quarter. Hmm? So last quarter you say. So the herbs harvested in the last quarter would generally last longer than yes. that applies to the roots as well? Roots, bats, everything. Okay. Now you no know, longer ago people use other witch um, rituals. When they were making the sweats, yeah. is there any special rituals associated with zerbi? Yeah. You say they are equalizing with zerbi. No, like say okay, certain things they say only cut it on a Good Friday, or only cut it on a Tuesday or a Sunday. Maybe only here in. Uh huh. Of some good things, but never. Okay, so you don't use any kind of rituals oh, yeah. when you make. You just use the pure herbs. Yes. Pure, pure herbs. Okay. Um, you mentioned using the vermouth, but is there any other ingredients, any other ingredients that are not made from herbs, for instance? Well, you know these are, the vermouth has herbs in it, eh? Yes, yes. But like, apart from let's say vermouth or function or rum or so, is there anything else that you use while making these medicines? Any like, apart from soft candle? Like this other thing, do you mix with any other ingredients from the drugstore, for instance? Other operations? No, you're using the same therapy. Mm -hmm. What other ingredients from the drugstore do you use when no. preparing? No other things in the drugstore. Okay. Um, but you've already, you've already mentioned the dosage, right? So you, and you've mentioned how many leaves you're going to use. But the actual preparation, I mean, you're from this year to come up with Kojirut. What are you using to come up with Kojirut? It's 
supposed to be a wooden stuff. Is it a wooden? Sign up! Any special name for us? Is there a special code to make for that with us? It, it, it should be. Yeah. But it has to be a piece of wood that you, you, you use to, to partake of the cruise. Mm -hmm. That's your piece of man. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody has some wood that is Okay. What words do you know in the Pharisee and Trinidad that are poisonous? Okay, but what is it? I know of what is certain, what is done for it. Put the velvet. You use velvet, you can also use punch and run. What else you can use instead of the velvet? Now, what is velvet? It's hard to get, you know that. Yes. So, what else can you use? Either the velvet or the punch and run. So, using the pure punch and run? Yes. Okay. Now, what is the shelf like? How long will this medicine last? So, now is it? It is properly prepared. Mm -hmm. It will last a long time. Ten years. Everything clean, clean. So everything must be sanitized. Everything must be sterilized before you prepare this medicine. And that will last as long as it's like it's sealed on there. Mean like 20, yeah. 30 years. Yes, all the time. Forty years. That much. All the time. Okay, good. And it will still be effective. Yes. Okay. Now, we started using a glass like this for adults. That's an adults, right? Yeah. If a child has pleurisy, what dose would you give the child? Well, of course, from my experience, I don't deal with children. You don't deal with children? I respect that very much. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. And I deal with children. Mm -hmm. And this, the preparation that I would make for them, I wouldn't take care of something. Okay, so the preparations you make are too strong for children, yeah. essentially. I imagine that. Okay. What about like, when women are pregnant? I mean, would these things cause any harm to a pregnant woman? Well, I, I, I don't think. You think that a woman who's pregnant can safely use anything? I don't think except it is coming very near on you. Okay. But you know some women tend to believe that if they miss their periods, for instance, and they think they're pregnant, that they can use a bit to induce their periods. Well, if they buy me already for those photos. Yeah. Yeah. And what do you do? I I brush them off. <laughs> <laughs> you say you brush them off, what exactly do you mean? Of you tell them you're not getting involved yeah, in that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, so you don't, you can't say for sure whether that is it, that would lead to that. But, uh, 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 but a certain amount of percentage of the That it could yes. have that sort of problem. Yes, but it could have a lot of money to Okay, well, we will, we will talk about that right now. You want to stick on this healthy? Yeah. Right. Um, now you mentioned that this uh, biggest is often you in conjunction with the unknown thing. Right? Um, but how do you go about determining whether somebody has pleurisy. How would you know? Well, by the attitude. Uh -huh. But then they explain their feelings. Uh -huh. At the time when they feel happy feelings, mm -hmm. in particular on a period, when the feelings change, then their the appetite changes. So there's a loss of, a loss of appetite in the yes, evening? Yes. Is there any fever associated? Dizziness. Dizziness, yeah. mainly in the evening time? Yes. Okay, what about like malarial fever? Can you use this for malarial fever? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about diabetes? Would you would you give someone therapy for diabetes? Do you know if it's being used for that purpose? I know what what being used for that purpose. Not therapy. Mat root? What's that? You want to make? That's what you want to make garlic and make. Garlic and the... Okay, garlic and the... Honey? Garlic and honey. And aloes. Garlic, honey and aloes. For diabetes. Okay, I don't know the actual basis. Okay, we'll come back to that later. Um, in, in Rancho Comando, I mean, uh, you have a lot of hills growing around your yard. You have the kilograms there with the aloes. Somewhere there's the aloes. Um, how much... People on an average day, on average week, I mean, you're not making medicine to sell, you're just doing your own thing. But on an average week, how many people would come to you looking for much medicine? Especially with the, with the, with the rainy season. Uh -huh. That's what you mean. Okay. So you don't have, you don't have calls of people coming to you as such? No, 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 no. Okay. 
Right, um, when one is using this medicine for, that, for, for the pleurisy, is there any special diet that one should use? Special foods or can you, can you anything? You can use any type of food or medicine. Okay. Any type. So the diet that doesn't interfere with the rate at which the healing process will take place. Okay. Can you tell us any personal experiences of anyone who has used this remedy and how it has helped them? Yes. Uh -huh. I, your brother, Mr. Uh -huh. Cardinal, uh -huh. uh, okay. uh -huh. but the Lord has me uh -huh. in saving his life. Where did he serve you? You want to tell us a bit more about this? He was working in and I bought a piece of food